Hey guys out there in uh, YouTube land, welcome to the Witcher Math channel. You know you've made it big when you're on a post-it note. So thank you very much for your continued support. Cheers. Have you ever wondered, like I often do, how many post-it notes would it take to fill this classroom? Well, questions like that get the better of me most of the time, but thanks to a little estimation technique we've been working on here in STEM class. Um, we're going to get a pretty close answer to a question that may not have a precise answer. These are called Fermi questions, named for the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, who lived in the first half of the 20th century. That's the 1900s, by the way. So without going into too much of a history lesson on our friend Enrico Fermi, F-E-R-M-I, let's take on this problem using our mental math skills, some assumptions or things about things we think we know, and some quick mental math estimation. These questions are meant to be answered very quickly, and uh, sometimes there's just no way of knowing if you're right or wrong. But if we agree on some of the definitions and assumptions that we make, we can all go, yeah, that seems pretty good. First of all, things that I know, or at least have reason to think I know. And why? A stack of post-it notes, this exact stack is three inches by three inches. It's a square. And it seems like it's about a quarter of an inch thick. These all seem very reasonable to me. I happen to know from ordering these on Amazon that this particular size is three inches by three inches. So I think that's a good estimate. Moving on. Another thing that I think I know, I think my shoe is about one foot long. Not because it has one foot in it. <laughs> Not because of that. But I happen to know these poster boards we're using are 12 inches wide. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, 18 inches long. Since my shoe matches up to the 12 inch side, I think it's fair to say my shoe's about 12 inches. And the key word here in all this stuff is using the words like about and almost or close to because you don't want to come across as having the exact answer, because the truth is you don't. These are all estimations. Something else I think I know. There's me stretching, reaching for the stars. Reach for the stars, people. Ah, <sighs> reaching for the ceiling. I think the ceiling's about nine feet high. I know this because I've measured my reach before on a wall, and I know it's over eight feet, like eight feet, two inches. It looks like if I could balance one of my shoes, if I could balance one of my shoes on my fingertip, about right there, that, uh, that would make it about nine feet, right? Does that seem okay? Cool, let's move on. I'm just establishing um, the variables for this problem we're dealing with. I think each square on the ceiling is about two feet, 24 inches. I know the lighting tubes are four feet long in the light fixture here. See the light fixture, about four feet long. I have uh, some history in construction, both at home and, and previous jobs I've had. So I know those tubes are four feet long. Since there are two of these uh, ceiling tile squares in a four foot span, it makes sense. Those are two feet long each. And uh, I've measured them before also. So I kind of knew that, but I wanted to use logic to deduce that. So ceiling tiles, two by two, they go both directions. That's very useful. Moving on. A stack of four posts, I chose four because in a previous slide, 
I said that I think they're a quarter of an inch tall. So the reciprocal of a quarter would equal one, which is four, because four times one quarter equals one. So if I stacked four of these, I would have a nice, uh, where did I go? There. I would have a nice nine cubic inch block of post-it notes right here. I think there's 50 in a pad. I'm not going to count them. It just looks like 50, so that's kind of a reasonable guess, I think. I could be wrong. I'm wrong much of the time. But anyway, since there's 50 times 4 would be 200. 200 divided by 9. 9 because there's 9 cubic inches here would mean there's about 22 in each cubic inch. Roughly, because 20 times 9 is 180. 9 times 2 is 18. When I add those together, I get 198. 1, 9, 8. Okay. So, we're going to take that information, 200 post-it notes in a cubic inch, and I'm going to make cubic feet. That's where the 12s came from. So 12 by 12 is a square foot. That's 144 inches. But I don't mentally know how to take 144 times 12. But I do know 144 times 10 gives me a zero at the end there. And I do know that 144 times 2 is just adding 144 twice, which gives me 288. So far, I'm right on. And then I go 1,400 plus 200 is 1,600. 40 plus 80 is 120, makes 1720, and there's the 8 at the end. So using mental math, I actually have an exact answer here of a 1728 cubic inches or in a cubic foot. Ah, that's a lot. Okay, next. So since there's 1728 cubic inches in a cubic foot, if I go uh, 22, where'd you get the 22, Mr. Witcher? Back here, 22 notes in each cubic inch, approximately. 22 notes in each cubic inch, and there's 1,728 cubic inches in a cubic foot. The answer will give me how many notes, how many post-it notes are in a cubic foot, which is very useful. Can you see where this is going? We're gonna figure out how many cubic feet the room is, are, proper English, I don't know, but you get the idea. And then we're gonna see how many of this answer fits into that. So walking you through my mental math here, um, 1728 times 10, I don't know what 1728 times 22 is, come on, do you? Anyway, this video is running long, let's go. Times 10 means I add a zero. Add them twice means I've now done times 20. And then it's easy to do times 2 because it's the 20 without the 0. And then I add them together. You can, <laughs> you can always slow down the video. I'm trying to get this done quickly to show you that a Fermi question is meant to be very quick and uh, all based on estimation. I've used no rulers or anything, just a combination of things that I think I know that I'm hopefully right on. Okay, so now I'm starting to round off. See the little squiggly equal sign means I'm into the world of approximations now. And the numbers are getting big, so I need to approximate or I'll waste all my time on mental math and never come up with an answer. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to take my 34,560 and I'm going to call it 35,000. I'm going to take my 3456 and call it 3500. So if I add those, that means I've got about, or a boot, as they say in Canada, or a boot, cute boot, 38,500 post-it notes per cubic foot of space. We're getting close. Now I need to figure out the volume of the room. Thanks to the ceiling tiles, I didn't see anybody in class yesterday using ceiling tiles to measure the room, but it's like having a bunch of rulers up there, so it's super easy. 
I counted, they go about 15 each way. I remember from elementary school, <laughs> 15 squared is uh, 225. So there's 225 tiles. Each tile is four square feet. So I can get pretty exact with that. There's 900 square feet of ceiling space, meaning there's 900 square feet of floor space. Ceiling and floor, same. Times nine, where'd the nine come from? Here's a hint. Right, that's how tall the room is, I think, nine feet. So the volume of the room is about 8,100, 8,100 cubic feet. Final slide, I did this in 10 slides. If I have the volume of the room in cubic feet, it's important to have the same units here. That's why I was putting my post-it notes into cubic feet, so it's a simple multiplication problem. My answer from that previous slide right here, 38,500 post-it notes per cubic foot times 8,100 cubic feet. I'm going to use some major rounding here. 8,000 cubic feet volume of the room times, I'm going to say 40,000. And I like this. 8 times 4 is 32. And then I take three zeros right there and these four zeros right there. I just multiply the numbers I have and add how many zeros there are. And I come up with, there are about 320 million post-it notes would fit in this classroom. And I think I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think it's pretty close. Let's find out. Step one, send me 320 million post-it notes. The postage might kill you there. Maybe you can get a bulk rate discount. Send me like a, you know, a bunch of pallets of post-it notes. 320 million is a lot. And I'll test it out. That would be hilarious. Thanks for watching. We did it in 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Goodbye on from the Witcher Math channel. See you next time. Who knows what that video will be about. Bye.